Uh, it's late, and my kids are up late. Yep, it sure are. Somebody gonna say, look, the kids aren't sleeping. Well, if anybody knows me, my kids, ever since um, the end of July, we've been up a little bit later. And of course, school's getting ready to start, so I gotta get them back to normal again. But that's all right, I'll get, I'll get it back to normal. They, they go to sleep between 10 and 11.30 lately, but it's quarter after 11 now, and I we're usually in bed right now, but we're not, so. To the world! We're going good nights. We're going to do prayers, and then we're going to go to bed. But, um, so let's do prayers real quick, guys. Let's pause your movie. Pause this. Real quick, because I want to get this done and over with. Oops. How do I do that? Oops. 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 Circle. Fix it. Fix it and pause. Okay. Pause. Pause it. Alright. Alright. Well, here we go. Ready? Ready? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Put that down. You ready? You got your hands crossed. You ready? No. I'm not. No, you're not ready? Nothing. Okay. What? Lord bless us. Lord keep us. Lord shine his face upon us and be gracious to us. Lord turn his face towards us and give us peace. God bless all the angels in heaven under watching over us. God bless all our family, friends, and neighbors that will help us through the hard times of our life. Thank you, Jesus, for our health, hope, love, peace, and happiness. It's going to happen within our house, within our home, and within our family. We ask for Lord Jesus that please, 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 please protect our mind, body, souls, and spirit. For you know what's going on in our life. We ask for you, Lord Jesus, to please help those who are still sick, suffering, the young, the old, the poor, and the unsaved. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. He put the forearm of God so that when you take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the evil forces of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, we put the forearm of God so that when the day of evil comes, we, put, we may be able to stand our ground. And after we have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt buckle of what? Truth. Truth wrapped around our waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, we take up the shield of faith, which we can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. And pray in the Spirit and all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for our Lord's people and saints. Pray also for me that whenever I speak, words may be given me so I fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Thank you, Jesus, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And what do we say? Amen. Amen. Also, Brandon didn't have his hands crossed. Oh, I, had it I didn't have my hands crossed. Uh-oh. Brandon didn't have his hands crossed. But what's that mean? We got to do it all over again? Well, the, the, well, I don't have to do it all over again, but Brandon has to. <laughs> my son is very big into, um, say amen. My son, you have to go like this. You have to have your hands crossed at all times. If he doesn't, if you don't have it crossed, then he's, I got it. If, if Mark doesn't have his cross, and even if he lets go, I have to start the prayers all over again. So praise be to God. But let me tell you something. My son's carrying his rope around. And if anybody's got in trouble with that rope and gave that rope to my son to cause him more trouble, then I'm going to make sure that they have more trouble when it comes to them, when I get get a hold of them. Okay? And, I can't, and whoever started that orange rope is going to get in their deep shit. And, there, and if anything happened to my son in 2014, I'm going to hold that person held responsible. And I already told that person she'll be held liable and responsible for what happened to my son when they hypnotized him. When they were trashed. He was so trashed he couldn't even hold his head up. They got him so drunk. And they must have injected him. Because every time he came back from that bitch's ha from that weekend's. They were, she was, he was totally different. So she got him so drunk and they did something to him. They did some ritual abuse shit to him. And I know it to the world. My son, William Willis, is a, is a victim. And I'm not gonna have somebody 
he's a, he's a victim. And they hypnotized my son. Along with, they did the same thing to me, too. So, I don't care what you spiteful think, but I'm going to catch, we're going to get a hold of the doctor, and I'm going to find the doctor that did this to me. And the nurses. And find the doctor that did this to my kids. Now, my aunt is a radiologist, a, a retired one. I want to see these people so that I can find out. But you know what? I've confronted these people about it already, and they won't tell me shit. My aunt used to be in the... Well, every time I went for an ultrasound, because any time I really... I started going for ultrasounds when I got pregnant with my kids. So, um, that's when I used to go to the, to the doc, to the, to the x-ray, because I, otherwise I didn't, I never went before. So, but every time I was in there, my Aunt Mary was always in the office with the doctors too. So, I want to know the truth between whatever happened to me when I was younger, whatever happened to me when I had my kids, and whatever Lisa Wehrman and her doctor sister-in-law, her sister-in-law is a doctor, Joe Wehrman's husband, sister is a, is a doctor. They're all from out of Washington Township, New Jersey, Turnersville, New Jersey. Okay? So whatever they did to me needs to come out and needs to be truth, told the truth, and the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help me get these people in jail. Now, I want to do ASL, but I'm, I'm not going to do that tonight. But I want to be like... Anyway, say thank you. Truth be told, justice be served, and for the love of God, I am and will always be faithful to my Lord and Savior. And uh, hopefully I can get people to keep an eyes and ears out for my, for my son. And, and, and hope and pray that nothing ever really happens, and hopefully we can fix him too. Because my kids are, are getting anxious and antsy. So I gotta get them back. But to the world, please help me get this truth out. I am not crazy, and I will prove it in a court of law. But nobody wants to get me in the courts because they know they're lying. So. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God.